real estate video tips are designed to help you learn what's best for you in buying or selling real estate. I hope you find them helpful. It's sad when two people divorce. Sad and complicated. Selling a home after a divorce is a reality many couples face because one spouse cannot afford to buy out the other and or losing one income the other cannot afford to keep the house. On the good news side, selling a house in a divorce can give each person needed money to get a fresh new start. Nuances include whether you reveal to potential buyers a divorce is forcing the sale. Some say it might cause buyers to lower their offering price. Others disagree. Conflicts should be reduced. Divorceinfo.com says if the divorcing couple can't agree on an agent, let a trusted third party choose your agent, and then let the agent choose the selling price. Trust them. If the recommended price is way off what you expect, you may need to find another agent. Clean, prepare, and stage the home. While such tasks should be equally divided, reality is they are not likely to be. One or both of the spouses may no longer live in the house, but the work must be done. Perhaps it can be agreed that some compensation from the proceeds goes to the party doing the majority of the work. And if that one person is paying the majority without aid from the other while the sale and divorce are pending, calculate how much they are paying and reimburse them from the sale proceeds. Renton is a great place to live, with places like Kulon Park, the Cedar River, the Landing, the Seahawks practice facility, and other great shopping areas and restaurants. We have nearly everything. I can tell you about all of them as we find your next home. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home in the greater Renton area, I'm happy to be your community concierge. My number is on the screen now. Give me a call. 303-800-8800.